Nestled in the quaint mountains above Hiroshima, Maruni Wood Industry is a furniture manufacturer eight years shy of its centennial. It only takes a short walk around the buzzing factory to get a sense of the firm's determination that has carried it through the better and worse over the decades. Maruni made its name in Japan by producing well-crafted traditional furniture, and now its contemporary pieces also grace well-appointed galleries, offices and restaurants around the world. It's a forward-thinking company, yet acutely aware of its artisanal roots that stem from the mythical island of Miyajima, once a destination for traditional Japanese woodworking and also home to the founder of the company. Maybe all the Japanese children are told God is always looking at you. So even though people never touch here, our craftsman sand and I finish very carefully, that's, uh, that's kind of mindset or that's kind of mentality come from this God Island, Miyajima. I was uh, kind of a delicate child. When the teacher asked me, write down your dream, I couldn't write anything because I knew at the time who I would be. I knew I will be the president of Maruni and I cried. My father asked me to be a very um, typical, nice student kind of stuff. Then I, I resisted him. Then I go to the university in Tokyo, go abroad and study business and go back to Japan to be a banker. But at the same time, I knew that I have to go back to Maruni. Japan is home to the highest number of long-lived and family-run companies in the world. Set on a lasting purpose, these enterprises usually adjust its course only when the next generation takes over the reins. Values are distilled and company culture revised. When the family called Takeshi to return to his hometown, he knew that getting the company back on track will be no easy task. Maruni was experiencing the most difficult period in its history, and the challenge was not only finding a solution, but also convincing the rest of the family that this is the right way forward. I sold many factories and restructured financially, but um, even though that we had a very hard time to stop falling sales, then I realized that uh, what is our strength? One of the top designers told me, your company has a great techniques. Then I started thinking that maybe we can change our company by changing our designs. Then I asked Naoto-san, Naoto Fukasawa, to design for us. Stripping the furniture of heavy layers of varnish and collaborating with designers at home and abroad has put Maruni on the global design map. Its 250 employees take pride in meticulously crafted objects, whether it's a chair to be dispatched to Apple Park in California or a beloved armchair in need of a fix. These are pieces built to last and they often pass through the hands of one craftsman multiple times in a lifetime. The managers must play an important role to preserve the tradition or techniques. If we move our factory to any other places, I believe that the chair become different. Of course we want big sales, but we don't follow sales, we follow quality or we follow what we want to make. Continuity is more important than big success or big sales, I think. So if we keep that kind of thinking, our company is needed in this society. I am Yamanaka-san, so working for Maruni is my destiny. <laughs> <laughs>